How to update FL Studio without losing any data or settings. It's super easy. So when you open up FL Studio, if you have an update available, it will tell you and it will ask you to download. You'll have a button there that says download. All you need to do is click that and then it will take you to the ImageLine website where you can download that update. I've already opened FL Studio, so as you can see, that's not here. But if we go to the image line website and we click on download up here, we'll be taken to this page. If you're not signed in, it won't say download, it will say try for free. But it doesn't matter whether you're signed in or not, you'll still be taken to this exact page and both the trial version and the full version are the same. So all you need to do at this point is click download. This will be the latest version of FL Studio. So we're gonna click that right now. And that's gonna take a little while. So while that's downloading, if you wanna learn how to create your own trap beats from scratch you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula that's included in my free music production course that will take you from creating your melody all the way to mastering your beat link is down below go to jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course and it's totally free so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this free course because it won't be free and available forever join now link down below now the file has downloaded at this point i'm going to open it this is an installer file and it's an exe file so all we need to do is open it and follow the instructions right about now i'm getting a pop-up asking me if i want to allow it to make changes to my device i'm selecting yes Mm, I cannot use it because FL Studio is actually running. So we got to close that and then I'll go to my downloads and here we can simply double click this installer, click yes again, and then walk through this process. So basically you want to agree, go through this and here's a super important part. If you don't want to lose your data, you don't want to lose your settings, pay attention. At this point, when I'm updating, I generally do not click settings at all because if you click there, it will automatically click clear, which will get rid of all your previous settings. So that will get rid of your data. But if you get rid of clear, then you can migrate your previous search paths and all that sort of stuff. But usually I'll just leave this alone and everything will turn out pretty fine. But if you find that you didn't click this and your search paths, your folders that you usually use were not included and you had to add them again, then for sure click settings, get rid of clear and make sure it's on migrate previous. But we're going to click none of these and then we're going to go to next and then we're going to go to next again and just allow this to install fully. Now that has installed stored we're going to click next next again and finish and at this point we can open fl studio now we need to unlock fl studio to do this we just click unlock fl studio but if this didn't pop up we need to go to help then go to unlock and then we need to enter our login details but let's just click unlock now all we need to do is enter our login details for image line so right now i've entered my login details i'm gonna blur it out of course then we're gonna click unlock with account. At this point, we've got a code sent to our email address that we need to enter in here. So I'm gonna wait for that to come up on my phone then just quickly enter this in. Code came through, enter that in, click continue. And now the license is installed. At this point, we can just restart FL Studio and everything should start up perfectly fine with our settings intact. So as you can see, it's opening up my template which is something which i set up in the past so it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing and all my files are still linked to the right files perfect if you like this video you should watch my video on my loop making secrets to see exactly how i create a loop from scratch in fl studio that will teach you a lot of great tricks and techniques i'll leave that link in the description down below as well as over there see you in the next one